What's up everybody? I know you can't see me. I apologize for that. You will see me in my other videos. I was hoping to make this video sooner before it got too dark outside, but it is what it is. Uh, so I want to tell you other than I'm making videos again, uh, somewhere between, you know, nine and 11 o'clock at night. Uh, I'm going to talk to you guys about DoorDash. Okay. Um, so let's see. I'm gonna, I want to tell you as much as I can possibly remember and think. I've done, signed up. I've been going through DoorDash off and on a lot, uh, lately um, for the past like two and a half years now. Uh, I've been doing DoorDash and I want to go over some updates, some new things, good and the bad. And I hate to say it, uh, but there's kind of like more bad than good, to be honest, all right? So for those who are thinking about signing up for DoorDash, uh, just make sure you watch this video. And I know it sucks because you can't see me. You see like, kind of looks like a ghost figure from the way I'm looking at it. So you guys are probably going to see the same thing. Uh, I promise it's me. It's not some ghost or anything. Um, <laughs> anyway, so DoorDash. Honestly, now it kind of just sucks. Uh, you have certain areas like I'm from Fowler, Ohio. I typically have to drive out about three minutes, three to five minutes down the road before I can even get into the zone, which isn't horrible or anything like that, but, you know, um, so for those who don't know anything about how DoorDash works, uh, this is your 2024, and I'm just gonna let you guys know as much as I possibly can, uh, so first of all, let's go with the good, alright, let's, let's go with the good news. Uh, you can choose between taking um, orders just by the order. And what that means is before you even start the dash, it will ask you, do you want to get paid by the order or do you want to get paid by the time? Now, here's the difference. I'm going to explain the difference. And to be honest, there's not really much of a difference because I have done both. I mean, there is one big difference, but I'll get to that in a sec. So, the first thing is, if you're doing it by the order, which is what I do all the time, literally, um, is that whatever comes up, it'll tell you. So, if for an example, an order, let's just say, is $5 for 6.2 miles. It'll tell you how many miles. Now, unfortunately, it at times tricks you. I might add a little bit of bad news to this, just a little bit as I go. I'll give you some good news first and some bad news as I go. So, what this means is that when you go and pick up an order, usually that 6.2 miles is supposed to be like kind of divided in half. So, therefore, you take like a mile or two or whatever to get to the store, pick up the order, and then the remainder should be just the, what it takes to get to the home. So let's just say it took you, uh, I guess, 2.2 miles. All right, 2.2 miles to get to the store. So therefore, it should only take you four miles, an extra four miles to even get to the house to deliver the food or the groceries, okay? Because um, you do have to go shopping unless you take that out. And I'll explain that part later, all right? So, taking an order um, by order, like I do, I feel as if it's the best choice because then you can deny whatever you want. Problem with denying is that, um, well, here's some bad news. Your score, your percentage goes down. 
I do not know how low it can go before they basically fire you. Um, but I think it, from what I've heard rumor wise, it's probably about 50% or lower is how far you can go before they actually decide to let you go. So, uh, try not to get carried away in declining. And a lot of times they will give you bullshit orders. Um, and what I mean by bullshit orders is you will have an order that will say $3 is what you'll get for this dash, okay? And it would be for 13.3 miles. And that, I'm talking about this because it happened recently. So, just letting you guys know, it can happen and it sucks. Especially if you're driving a gas hog. I wouldn't recommend driving a pickup truck or a, a, you know, a heavy duty vehicle that's going to suck down fuel. I have a small car, a Toyota, four door. And I'm not sure how many gallons um, by the mile or whatever it goes by. But all I know is, I, all I can tell you is I could pretty much fill up my car and it'll last me like basically 12 hours before I go from full to a quarter of a tank. Which is really freaking good just driving around all day. Um, anyway... That's just a suggestion. Make sure you have a reliable vehicle, uh, a car, more specifically, something that's not going to suck down gas. Because uh, if you have a truck or something of that sort, maybe a Jeep that only does like, um, maybe like, I don't know, 12 to 15 miles in, by a gallon, that's not going to get you too far. You're honestly going to be losing more money than you'll be making so it's really not worth it if you got a truck or a jeep something heavy um anyway doordash does pay you um by the order and it does pay you for whenever you're done dashing so here is some bad news okay you do not actually get to choose when you will dash until you become a platinum level uh, member of DoorDash. And how to do that is, well, simple but not simple. Uh, you actually have to get 100 dashes in a month. And yes, it is a lot. Um... Yes, you are able to decline quite a few orders on the way, and they do not count unless you take the orders and actually go through every single one. There was just so much to go through with you guys, and uh, for those who are you know, staying to listen, thank you. I'm just trying to give everybody a heads up of what to expect when it comes up to DoorDash, all right? So just... If you're interested, please stick around because you're going to know pretty much everything about DoorDash. They do keep track of how you stop and how fast you move. Yes, they actually do. And they have this stupid update that's been going on for a while now. For about probably three, four months or something like that. Where if you do stop um, really hard, it will literally tell you... Hard brake detected. Even if you have your darn uh, GPS thing on mute. And yes, you have a GPS. You have to uh, agree when you download the DoorDash app. And you you know sign up for it, get approved and everything. To be a DoorDasher, you will have to agree uh, for DoorDash to use your camera access and your GPS access. So they can actually allow you to work. If you deny those things, you won't be able to do the job. They just won't allow you to. 
Um, and if you somehow manage to hack the system, which I'm sure some people have probably have tried in the past, I don't know, but if you do attempt and successfully hack the system, let's just say that, they will catch on and they will end up calling you or just flat out kicking you off. Just a heads up, because they do actually check on everybody's accounts and progress. And I'm just saying because like I actually have over two years of experience. I have noticed that they really actually pay attention to everybody driving. To an extent, at least. Uh, I don't understand why they even bother tracking us when it comes up to how hard we hit our brakes or how fast we hit the gas. But they do track it. And it actually shows you how hard, or it'll, it'll say hard brake detected when you hit your brakes hard. And I know you're probably, some of you may be thinking, well, why are you hitting, slamming on your brakes? That's bad on your brakes. And yes, you have to use your vehicle. You don't have a vehicle through DoorDash that you borrow or use for the job. You have to use yours. Um, and no, if you get like a sticker or something that represents DoorDash, you don't get a little extra money. Sorry to say. Um, it is something I have looked into. <laughs> but you don't get any extra money for having a DoorDash thing on the side of your door or whatever. Um, all it does is kind of make you stand out some. So, anyway, uh... What else? Um, if anybody has any questions uh, about DoorDash, please feel free to ask me in the comments below this video. And I will get to you within, honestly, within 24 to 48 hours. Alright. Um, I'm trying to think, guys. I'm sorry. Uh... Oh yeah, earned by time. DoorDash does pay $12.50 by the hour. Now I'm going to tell you something that's crappy, alright? Because I have done this before. Uh, before, uh, uh, before getting platinum level to where you can actually dash whenever you want, it doesn't matter if the area is dead or not, you can just dash. Uh, I don't know why DoorDash advertises you can dash whenever, because that's actually not true. When you first start out, you actually have to choose certain time frames that they give to you, uh, allow you to choose from. So for an example, you're going to be left with times that uh, people don't take. Or here's, a, uh, here's some advice, okay? Here's really strong advice if you're starting out DoorDash. Um, please check ahead of time it gives you like a week advance meaning you'll have like a whole week schedule that you get to check into when you go to schedule your time frames um so let's just say um today is sunday so if i wasn't a platinum level dasher um i would have to um if I was like a silver or gold, I think it is, silver or gold dasher, I would have to choose, uh, I would have to go all the way out like four or five days ahead of time just to be able to, you know, say, select pretty much any time I want. And that's what people I don't think ever pay attention to because back when I had to choose times, I always had to do that. I'd always have to go out further in the week. So for an example, today is Sunday. Uh, I'd have to look at like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then, you know, the following Sunday, um, go all the way out four plus days ahead and then select days because most people, for some reason, don't think about doing that. Most people only go out two to three days ahead and take all those days. So, I mean, just some advice. All right. Just go out ahead of time. Choose your times, because a lot of people, for some reason, either don't know that they could do that, or they don't care to do it. Either way, there's some advice. Uh, but the thing by the hour, I strongly advise you not to freaking do, because what I experienced is pretty horrible. 
if it's dead, okay, you may be thinking, well, my area says it's, it's, a, it's the map shows it's gray around your area, okay? Let's just say you hit, you know, dash now, it lets you dash because it's your time. So you had to start at um, 5 o'clock p.m., wherever you're from, and because you had that time set up. But you go to choose, you know, you see that the area is dead for some reason at that time, which it shouldn't be, but I'm just saying, for an example, if it shows nothing but gray around your area, and you go, well, you know what, maybe I could cheat the system and get paid by at least twelve fifty an hour, and all I would have to do is keep my car turned off and just sit here and collect the money. Because technically, they do have to pay you twelve dollars and fifty cents if all you have if all you do is sit there but um that didn't work okay i've tried that before and it does not work the way we think it's going to work even if you are outside of the zone and yes i have tried this it sucks i have actually tried this people if you go outside the zone and hit dash now right before let's just say right before you get out of the zone you hit dash now you get out of your dash zone It'll tell you you're out of your zone and, you know, you should go back into it. Let's just say you don't, all right? You, you go and park somewhere, turn off your car for about probably 30 minutes, maybe 40 minutes at the latest. I don't know how long they may take. Depends where your area is and everything. So let's just say you did that, all right? And you're laughing, you're talking on the phone with somebody while charging your phone in your vehicle. You're having a good old time thinking you're just going to get easy money for sitting and talking. Well, newsflash, hate to tell you because it's happened to me. And I'm willing to bet it's going to happen to you guys, every single one of you that try this. Um, you will have a order, and more than likely, even if it's dead, they're going to send you something for probably 2 or $3, and it's going to be like 15 plus miles away. And if you decline that while you're you know making money by the time if you decline that offer which you can they can refuse to pay you and i know you're thinking well that's illegal well te technically no when you sign up through doordash you actually agree in the terms that if it's by the hour that you that you have to take you know orders and i was just say okay Let's just say you do take this order that's way out of the way. And by the time you get the food and deliver it, the whole hour passed. And you're like, well, hey, I only made, you know, say $2 from DoorDash because the minimum they have to pay you is $2, which sucks. That's the bad news for every order. Not just by the time, but by the per, you know, order per order per order. For every, if you do that instead of the time frame thing. So if you are actually doing it by the orders, uh, you know they can still they have DoorDash has to pay you at least a minimum of two dollars if you do not get a tip. Sometimes they give you two twenty five. It all kind of depends on the order itself, okay? But they're not required to pay any less than they, they cannot pay you any less than two dollars. That's basically their contract deal with you. Or it's not a contract, but it's an agreement form thing. Because you're basically your own man or woman. You're your own private business person. Whatever. I don't know how to explain that. I'm sorry. I know that kind of came out wrong and stupid. Forgive me. Anyway. Like I was saying, if you do dash by the time and you only have like... You only made four dollars within that hour, okay? DoorDash will have to pay you the rest to make up for that. Besides your tip, you keep your tip. So let's just say you got the two dollars from DoorDash, and by the, and you know between the time it took for you to get an order and the time it took you to pick it up and deliver it, that took up a little over an hour between all that stuff. All right. So you will end up getting the, you know, extra ten dollars and fifty cents that they owe you, and you keep your two dollar tip from the customer. That's how that works, okay? But don't think that you're gonna get away with getting out of your zone or sitting at your house 
because you usually don't get anything when you're on, you know, uh, when you're dashing per the or, you know, per order. It doesn't, I mean, it's different. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. I, I've tried it, okay? I'm just letting you all know. I've tried cheating the system too. But I'll never do it again because I don't like having to go 20 miles out of the way for five bucks, okay? To me, I don't think it's worth it. But you do what you want to do when it comes up to your dashing account. Um, if anyone manages to pull off um, being able to sit somewhere and literally collect a whole 1250 for literally sitting in one spot or at, at your house... Feel free to let me know because I'd actually be interested to know if anyone's ever been able to pull that off without actually receiving anything. And if somehow you guys did, whoever out there is watching this, manage to decline an offer from DoorDash and sat there and still got paid, I'd be interested to hear that as well because I doubt that it would ever actually happen. Uh, but I could be wrong. Uh, yeah, I don't really have anything else to say, so like I said before, just let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. I'm sorry this video took so long, but, uh, I just needed to get the word out there about DoorDash. Uh, I mean, I'm sure there's things I forgot to mention. I'm trying to think real quick. Um... Honestly, for those who are wondering, is DoorDash actually worth it? No. I have to say it's not. Because there's so many dashers already that have, you know, people that have already signed up and they take so many, you know, hours and stuff of their own. It's really not worth it, especially when you first start out. Because really, you don't make a decent amount of money until you move up in rank. And from my understanding, you have to have at least about 85% um, acceptance rate, meaning 80, it was just that, for, honestly, it's 85% of the time you accept orders. I believe it's at least 85 to 100% acceptance rate. That you must have in order to actually take a catering order. Uh, if you have less than 85%. Oh, I got a little spooked. I had a cat behind me. <laughs> uh, that was stupid. Hi, kitty. Um, yeah, I said kitty. I, I just... I'm just out there. I don't care. I don't really care for editing things out and stuff. I, I'm just out there I like to just say whatever um yeah that's all I got guys honestly I don't even remember what I was saying unfortunately oh um well thanks for watching uh if you have any questions please just ask me in the comments below I'm gonna be uh, playing some Roblox. Uh, if there's any game suggestions you guys have you want me to try out, please let me know also in the comments below. Thanks so much. Peace.